Scarface, Then and Now, Rise of the Cuban Kingpin. Welcome to Then and Now Talents. Today, let's delve into the cinematic masterpiece that is, Scarface. Directed by Brian De Palma, this iconic film took the world by storm in 1983, leaving an indelible mark on the crime genre. Join us as we explore the evolution of the stellar cast and their journeys in the world of cinema since the release of, Scarface. Scarface, the rollicking crime drama that burst onto the scene in 1983, is an electrifying journey into the dark underbelly of power, wealth, and crime. Directed by Brian De Palma and penned by the talented Oliver Stone, the film takes us deep into the heart of Miami's cocaine trade, where Tony Montana, played by the incomparable Al Pacino, rises from the ashes of poverty to become a notorious and ruthless drug lord. The film is a gritty exploration of the American dream gone awry, filled with unforgettable characters, sharp dialogue, and a relentless soundtrack that has become synonymous with the movie's legacy. As we navigate through the labyrinth of Tony Montana's ascent and inevitable downfall, Scarface stands tall as a cinematic classic, a cult favorite, and a symbol of the excesses and consequences of the criminal underworld. Michael Aldridge, Sheffield Born on April 13, 1941, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Michael Aldridge brought his talents to the role of Sheffield in Scarface at the age of 42. Known for his commanding presence, Aldridge's career extended beyond the crime drama genre, showcasing his versatility in films like Bachelor Party and Best Seller. His contributions to the entertainment industry left an indelible mark and his legacy endures. Mark Margolis, Shadow Hailing from Philadelphia, Mark Margolis was born on November 26, 1939. At 43, he graced the screen as Alberto, a henchman in Scarface. Margolis's career became a tapestry of diverse roles, earning acclaim for his performances in films like Pi and Requiem for a Dream. His ability to breathe life into characters made him a respected figure in the world of acting. Dennis Hollihan, Banker Dennis Hollihan, born on November 7, 1942, in the vibrant city of Chicago, was 40 when he portrayed Jerry, a corrupt police detective, in Scarface. His post-Scarface journey led him to numerous roles in both film and television, with memorable appearances in Ur and Nash Bridges. Holohan's dedication to his craft resonates through the characters he brought to life. Al Israel, Hector the Toad A native of Los Angeles, Al Israel, born on March 7, 1935, embraced the role of Hector in Scarface at the age of 48. His filmography expanded after Scarface, with roles in Colors and Internal Affairs. Israel's contributions added depth to the stories he joined, leaving an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape. Pepe Serna, Angel Born on July 23, 1944, in Corpus Christi, Texas, Pepe Serna was 39 when he portrayed the affable Angel, a friend of Tony Montana. Serna's acting journey transcended Scarface, encompassing projects like The Jerk and Silverado. His commitment to authenticity and compelling storytelling defines his enduring legacy in the world of film. Angel Salazar, Chi Chi Angel Salazar, born on June 4, 1951, in Havana, Cuba, donned the role of Chi Chi in Scarface at the age of 32. Following this iconic film, Salazar's career flourished, with appearances in Carlito's Way and Punchline. His charisma and talent became integral elements in the tapestry of cinematic storytelling. Harris Eulen, Bernstein Born on November 5, 1937, in Los Angeles, Harris Eulen was 45 during the production of Scarface, where he portrayed the character Mel Bernstein. Yulin's impressive career unfolded with roles in Training Day and Rush Hour 2. His nuanced performances illuminated the complexities of the characters he embodied. Paul Shinar, Alejandro Sosa Paul Shinar, born on February 12, 1936, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 
was 47 when he brought the formidable Alejandro Sosa to life in Scarface. Shannar's post-Scarface career included notable roles in Man on the Moon and The Distinguished Gentleman. His legacy in cinema reflects a dedication to delivering captivating performances. F. Murray Abraham, Omar F. Murray Abraham, born on October 24, 1939, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, was 43 during the filming of Scarface. His portrayal of Omar Suarez added layers to the narrative. Post Scarface, Abraham's illustrious career reached new heights, culminating in an Academy Award for Amadeus. His ability to inhabit diverse characters showcased his mastery of the craft. Miriam Colon, Mama Montana Born on August 20, 1936, in Ponce, Puerto Rico, Miriam Colon was 46 when she portrayed Tony's mother, Georgina. Beyond Scarface, Colon's contributions extended to films like All the Pretty Horses and Gold. The Dream Begins. Her impact on the industry resonates through her multifaceted performances. Robert Loggia, Frank Lopez. Robert Loggia, born on January 3, 1930, in Staten Island, New York, graced Scarface with his presence at the age of 53, portraying Frank Lopez. Loggia's career was a testament to his versatility, with roles in Big and Independence Day. His commanding presence enriched every project he undertook. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, Gina Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, born on November 17, 1958, in Lombard, Illinois, was 24 when she portrayed Elvira Hancock. Beyond Scarface, Mastrantonio's career soared with performances in The Color of Money and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Her ability to embody complex characters marked her as a force in the world of cinema. Stephen Bauer, Manny Ribera Born on December 2, 1956, in Havana, Cuba, Stephen Bauer was 26 when he brought Manny Ribera to life in Scarface. Post Scarface, Bauer's career encompassed diverse roles in projects like Breaking Bad and Ray Donovan. His enduring presence in the industry is a testament to his talent and adaptability. Michelle Pfeiffer, Elvira Michelle Pfeiffer, born on April 29, 1958, in Santa Ana, California, was 25 when she portrayed Elvira Hancock in Scarface. Her post-Scarface journey propelled her to iconic roles in Batman Returns and Dangerous Liaisons, earning her multiple Academy Award nominations. Pfeiffer's grace and talent have solidified her as a Hollywood legend. Al Pacino, Tony Montana Al Pacino, born on April 25, 1940, in New York City, delivered a powerhouse performance as Tony Montana in Scarface at the age of 43. Pacino's illustrious career boasts legendary roles in The Godfather, Trilogy, Scent of a Woman, and Heat, earning him an Academy Award. His impact on cinema is immeasurable, making him a true icon. As we bid farewell to the mesmerizing journey through the lives and careers of the cast of Scarface, it becomes crystal clear that their artistic contributions have etched a lasting legacy in the annals of cinema. The intense and unforgettable portrayal by Al Pacino, coupled with the diverse trajectories of each cast member, has woven Scarface into the fabric of cinematic greatness. This retrospective has merely scratched the surface of their fascinating stories, and we invite you to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of then and now talents. If this exploration has captivated your imagination, don't just stop here, like, share, and subscribe to embark on more exhilarating deep dives into the ever-evolving world of cinematic legends. Thank you for being a cherished part of our audience and joining us on this riveting journey through the ages of talent and artistry.